the IRS, we of course have very sensitive data and our whole tax system relies on voluntary compliance and that relies on the integrity of the data and the safety of the data at the IRS. So as we move into the cloud, um, we certainly are concerned with uh, making sure that we're providing the right services to taxpayers and safeguarding their information and ensuring that the security and privacy is acceptable um, to IRS and government standards. Uh, part of that work is working with our business partners in the IRS as well as with our strategic vendor partners and um, doing pilots or proof of concepts around um, our foray into the cloud. So we do have an innovation lab uh, as part of our integrated enterprise portal where we are um, looking at hybrid cloud for our uh, peaks and uh, using that for uh, surge capacity. And we're also using that um, proof of concept to look at our security, our monitoring, and our privacy and how we might uh, utilize that for other deployments um, in FedRAMP compliant uh, clouds. It's clear to us that some things will always be sort of on-premise and in private clouds and, and won't be in uh, public or hybrid clouds in the future, at least uh, where we are right now with our state of uh, security and privacy. At the IRS, we have both on-premise uh, private clouds where we have a vendor who operates that cloud on-premise, and we have vendors who uh, have developed the cloud off-site and operate that as well for us. Five years from now, I would expect that uh, we would have a lot more uh, off-premise operations uh, using different types of cloud solutions. Um, I would expect that um, we have a lot more virtualization for anything that's still on-premise. Um, I expect that our workforce would have changed from uh, you know, being hands-on keys to uh, being more business analysts around IT and supporting the business in terms of how we move forward and deliver on uh, their goals for the taxpaying public.